guys so today is casual Friday and I thought I would tell you guys a little bit about my appointment that I had yesterday um, as you guys may know I've been trying to get this procedure done for Ever, and I'm trying to figure out, you know, all the logistics about my uterus and if I have a bicornea, which I've been told for a f two years now, and um, you know, if we can fix it and all of that. And so I finally had the procedure done yesterday, and I have lots of good information to tell you guys about. So first of all, I had the, a procedure called the SIS done. It uh, stands for uh, saline induced sonogram. Basically what that means is they take um, a catheter and they insert it through my cervix into the uterus. They then in insert like a bulb and they push fluid into my uterus. Um, basically what it does is it almost sh can show like a small pregnancy in the uterus. So it blows up just enough so they can kind of get an outline of the full uterus. Um, basically this and an MRI um, is the only way to really get a good look to see exactly what's going on and, and what kind of uterus I have. I will say this procedure was not comfortable. It was extremely painful for me. Um, basically felt like extremely, extremely bad um, cramping, but it, it just, I don't know, it was really, really uncomfortable for me. It only lasts about 15 minutes, I would say. Um, so after that, then you just have like some spotting and leakage because the saline does have to come out. They basically do an internal ultrasound at the same time to look at it all. So I'm going to kind of, I'm going to set you down and I'm going to kind of help explain what a uterus should look like, what mine would look like if it was a bicornuate, what it would look like with a septum. Um, cause basically we're trying to figure out, do I have a bicornuate and a septum? just a bicornuate, just a septum. So if I were to have a perfectly normal uterus, I would have, it, it You actually looks kind of like a triangle. And it would be like flat on the top and it would look triangle. And then the inside would also be like a triangle. So it would be per, two perfect triangles basically. Um, a bicornuate would have a curve on the top triangle, um, but then the inside would just be a perfect triangle. Um, so the basically you just have the ears on the top but the inside so it's not a, a terrible now a septum would have the perfect outline but the inside would have a septum going down this is not good a septum can cause preterm labor it can rupture um, it's it's a really scary thing to have if you have um, a septum in your uterus it's not impossible to have um, pregnancies and births and full term it's not impossible but it's not usually recommended and it's kind of a scary pregnancy if you do the question is do I have a bicornuate and a septum? Um, and so during this uh, ultrasound, we were able to determine, I'm gonna show you a picture right here, I'm gonna put it on the screen and help explain. As you can see, at the very top, there's like a lighter line. That is the top part of my uterus, and it is a line, it does not dip. So I do not have a bicornuate uterus. The bicornuate would, that, that lighter line would actually dip down, but it goes completely around. So, good news, it's not a bicornuate, but it's confusing because I've been told I have a bicornuate since the very beginning. But, if you look a little closer, you can see where the darker um, circles are. Those, that is my uterus. It is supposed to look also straight, but as you can see, there is a division right in the center of my uterus. It goes almost all the way down. On the right side, that's actually my left horn where um, Oliver was during my pregnancy. Um, that's the bigger side, if you can tell. And it also, um, basically, you can see that's the left side, and then you can also see the other side is my right side. Basically, what we were able to determine from this ultrasound, I do not have a bicornuate. I have a full septum that comes all the way down. My placenta was on the right side of my um, uterus, and Oliver was on my left side. If a baby were to implant on the septum, it would be very difficult to keep that pregnancy alive. Basically, from what she tells me, is that it was basically a miracle that Oliver implanted on a good spot and was able to last. And I feel like from this information, I've been able to reach closure, um, determining that I think that my other pregnancies did not last because they implanted um, probably on the septum or on, on a place that could not sustain um, a pregnancy. The good thing about this information is that if I were to have a bicornuate and a septum, it would be very difficult to do surgery because when they start cutting at that septum, they could hit my uterus, um, the bicornuate uterus part, and it could nick it, and then I would, ne would never be able to have babies. But because my uterus is not bicornuate, it's flat on the top, they can actually very easily go in, 
cut that septum right out and basically turn my uterus into a full uterus. So this is actually really exciting and really, really good news. She told me I'm a perfect candidate for surgery. She definitely recommends it. She says it was a miracle and I really shouldn't try and test out more miracles. Um, I really should get this fixed before any pregnancies. She clearly say, stated to me, I understand how you, why you lost pregnancies. I don't understand how you kept one. Um, that's what she told me. I feel really confident that I need to get the um, surgery and that's just what's going to have to happen. So I'm going to take this information back to my doctor. I'm hoping that he doesn't do any more hmm and hawing on whether we should do surgery or not because as you guys may know, in his mind he basically told me that look, you have a baby. You, we know that you can give birth so why would I do surgery he still does, says that to me I'm probably just gonna find a new doctor because I think that I feel really good about the fact that I need surgery and I don't want to risk any more pregnancies I don't want another 20 week loss um, especially if, if this is the reason why that happened it's not great to have a septum but I can fix it and that's the good news I hope that I was able to explain that as clearly as possible I will tell you a funny story though this appointment you are not allowed to be pregnant because as you know we're putting saline into the uterus that would not probably be able to um, keep any kind of life alive if you're putting something into the uterus like that so I felt very confident I wasn't pregnant at this ultrasound she started going in there and doing stuff and she says to me wait who's that and I was like, what? Like my heart dropped. I honestly was like, oh, finally an ultrasound that I can relax at because ultrasounds are really stressful for me. She basically goes on to tell me that she just calls bumps in the uterus he's, like who's that? He, he measure him or whatever because um, they do nothing but they wreak havoc. It's really stressful, but um, I guess there is a possibility that I might have some things in there and so during the, the surgery they can remove those. The surgery is outpatient. It's really simple. It's I mean obviously I do have to be put under and it's, and it's a surgery um, but it's outpatient. I'm not really too scared about it. It shouldn't hurt too badly so I just gotta just prepare myself and hopefully we can get this fixed soon so that I can give my body lots of time to recover until I get pregnant again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have questions, leave them in the comments. I will definitely try and answer any that I left out if I didn't explain it very well. Um, but like this video if you did, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! And then you're going to suck from this end. Never blow, obviously that can hurt them, but you just suck. Um, really nice thing is that you cannot suck too hard. Um, basically, the more you suck, the harder you suck, the more stuff is going to come down. And the way that it works is that this tip wraps right around the, no the nostril. 